Step one, image computer. Step two, change admin password. Click manage here. It's going to bring you up to this. Set it to password one. Okay, and then uh, step three, computer properties. We're gonna take it off the domain. So go here, change settings. You could call it anything. You're going to have to put in username and password. It doesn't really matter what you put in. But uh, I put in my credentials, so hopefully it will delete the other account. Okay. And you get the welcome to work group, and you can restart. that you set. Let's back in. This is where you're going to change the computer name. Click start, right click computer, properties, and you're going to change the computer name. just like a hot swap when you change the computer name on the hot swap same thing so after the computer name is changed you're going to log in and add it back to the domain so the computer name change has happened we're doing the adding it to the domain same properties as taking it off And you're not going to be able to add it to the domain unless it's in Active Directory correctly. So if you're re-imaging it, you have to follow this process. So I'm going to show you. First, you're going to uh, open this up. Go to uh, Computers. You're going to want to find out if there's a computer associated with it. So if I do SSP. Well, this one is 106, but uh, let's say we're doing a re-image. I already have a 103. So you see how I didn't do this right? This needs to be computers. So that's uh, the computers there. And now you can search it. So if you see one in there, you have to delete it. Okay, so you just right click on delete. Uh, with mine, I created it. So to create one, you just go here, new, SSP. After you delete it, you're going to have to go in here. You have to change this. It has to be W2K, or else it won't work right. I'm just getting that. Okay, SSB Loner 130. 
now that it's in there and W2K can add it to domain. So you've deleted any of the computers that have it and you've created it. So now you can add it. Uh, we're not doing 130, we're doing 106. I'm adding it to domain. A M E. your username this is the technician's username and password because we're in the w2k group so now it's been added now we can restart the only thing left to do is to add the administrator group as domain users in the administrator group and password reset tool so now that it's been added back to the domain control I can sign in with my username. Enter. Now you want to just do the final thing. Start UAC. Turn that all the way down. Domain users admin rights. Right click computer, select manage. Now that one's, you can double check it at the end, just right click that, uh, it's been, name's been changed and it's on the domain.